So today I want to show you a little demonstration of how to work duplicate stitch. It's a really nice way to add a motif or an embellishment to stockinette stitch using a colour chart. Uh, it sometimes uses an alternative to ferrule, which can sometimes be a little bit fiddly and time consuming. Before we actually start stitching, we need to make sure we have a nice flat piece of stockinette. This means you're probably going to need to block your piece in some way. Either you can wet block it and leave it to dry or hover a steam iron over it. I've just steamed this little sample quickly. So to get started, we need to thread a darning needle with the yarn that we're going to use. Preferably it needs to be the same weight yarn as the knitted piece. You might get away with a slightly thinner yarn, maybe one weight down, but definitely not anything chunkier. So to create a stitch, we're going to go into the very bottom point of a V-stitch. Come up through the very bottom here and pull the yarn through. And to create this right leg, we're going to go across the top and through both legs of the stitch straight above and pull through. You might want to give this yarn a little pull just so it sits flat against the knitting, but not too tight that it's going to pucker. Then to create this left leg, we're going to go back down through the hole we first came up, across and back through the very base of the stitch next to it. We'll just do that one more time. So across the top, pull the yarn through, back down where we came in, and up through the bottom of the next stitch. It's a lot easier if you work this from right to left each time, um, just because it's following the, the natural curve of the stitch. You might get away with going from left to right, but it can make the stitches look a little bit twisted, maybe one or two if they're in a slightly awkward position. And that's it. 